Alaska. It's been so warm, they've had to move the Iditarod twice, often. Last winter, it was buried in over nine feet of snow, so deep that piles of it were still melting in July. California. The last few years, it's been locked in a drought so severe, we have to go back centuries to find a single comparable year, let alone a stretch like we've seen today. And just this fall, we've witnessed mild little tropical storms ratcheting up to Category 5 hurricanes overnight as they suck up enormous amounts of heat from some of the warmest ocean temperatures ever recorded. What the heck is happening to our planet? I'm Catherine Hayhoe, and I'm a climate scientist at Texas Tech University. I study what climate change means to us in the places where we live. With the team from Texas Tech Public Media, I want to start a web series looking at this very question. And with public opinion changing so rapidly these days, it's an important time to answer it. Here in Texas, five years ago, only about 30% of people would say that climate was changing. And most of those probably lived in Austin. Today, over 70% of Texans would say that climate is changing. What's the difference? The record droughts and floods we've seen in the last five years. But when you ask people why it's happening, that's where things get heated. Climate change. It's become the most politicized issue in the entire United States. But hang on a second. Isn't climate change just about thermometers and physics? How did temperature readings and basic science that goes back almost 200 years becomes such a hotly debated topic. Nowadays, the best predictor of our opinion on climate change is not how much we know about science, but rather where we fall on the political spectrum and even what pew we sit in on a Sunday. In this series, we're gonna tackle these issues head on. How do we know this thing is even real? Why do scientists say it's human and not natural cycles like it's been every other time? Well, many politicians say exactly the opposite. Is climate change causing the crazy weather we see today? Does fixing climate mean we have to shut down the economy? Why are the Pope and the National Association of Evangelicals piling on? And why do we climate scientists get so much hate mail? Money and politics, God and global warming, every topic we avoid in polite conversation, we're going there. Listed below are a ton of cool perks for donating to this series. They range from getting me to come speak to your school or your group or even your family reunion, although I don't recommend that, to cool reusable water bottles. If you're ready, if you want to be a part of this, you can help us make this series a reality. Global Weirding, Climate, Politics, and Religion with Catherine Hayhoe.